Welcome back, real men of Tulsa, to more Explore Tulsa and the quest for the perfect garage. Stevie, women like a nice looking garage too. But sometimes we all need a hand in coming up with the best solution to organizing what could look like an episode of Hoarders. And that's why we called on Jason from Garage Innovations. We got started from, a, I had a personal need at my house. I had a two car attached garage and I built a detached garage. And after I built the garage, I did what most people do and I went to Lowe's home, or Home Depot, a home improvement store, um, to see what they had to offer for storage and wasn't real excited about what I saw. So I got on the internet and started reading about garage storage, which led to garage storage and organization as a service and as a business. There was no one in Oklahoma doing it. In most other states around, there were companies doing it, but no one in Oklahoma. So it was one of those aha moments. I would love this business. I'd be passionate about it because I love remodeling, right? And nobody's doing it. So I, I told Jennifer, I said, I think I found something I want to do. She, of course, thought I was absolutely nuts. But it's worked out. When we started 10 years ago, we had one cabinet system and one slat wall system. And that cabinet was plastic. Well, what changed is I listened to customers. Because we, when we started off, I still remember garage one and two that we did. They loved the plastic cabinets. But then you go meet with people and they don't make a purchase and you find out why. And they say, well, I wanted a steel cabinet. I didn't feel like plastic was gonna be good enough. Or I wanted a wood cabinet. I wanted a more upscale look. We realized quickly we had to diversify our product offerings in order to meet everybody's needs. If we would have stuck with one system, what we thought was a good product to offer, we would have been out of business nine years ago. So the most important thing is our product offering has changed over the last 10 years, and that's due to listening to customers. Tulsa and Oklahoma City together, um, we really enjoy working in all of Oklahoma. We grew up in Oklahoma City, moved to Tulsa in 1991. So we have a lot of friends and connections in Oklahoma City as well. So what we love about Tulsa is it's a very large, small town. We, we always make sure our customers are happy. Doesn't matter how much money it costs us to make sure they're happy, right? If we put in cabinets that are pink and they say they should have been purple, we say, yes ma'am, we take pink out and we put purple in and say, sorry for the mistake, regardless who's right or wrong. If you have that mindset in business, it doesn't take long for everybody in Tulsa to know it. If I walk into a garage, 75% of the time now, they know that we did Mary's garage, Joe's garage, and Tim's garage. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that every single one of those customers are happy. So it's, it's very nice. So that's what I enjoy about Tulsa, is it's a small town. Everybody knows everybody. And um, if you do a good job in business, um, it doesn't take long for everybody to know it. 